So to start off this New Year's Eve glittery makeup look, I've already got my contacts in and they will be linked in the info box. And then I've got these really cool um, gold eye masks that I got off online. And I'm just going to apply this while I'm doing my eyebrows. You have to keep them on for around 15 minutes. So I thought I'd do my brows while I was waiting for that to, you know, sink in. And for my brows, I am using the Soap and Glory Brow Archery 2-in-1 Brow Pencil in Dark Chocolate. And I did also put my headband in because my hair was really annoying me. But then I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Brow Now Volumizing Brow Tint in Dark Brown. I then took off the eye mask and grabbed a wipe just to remove any excess product from underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. And I'm going to be cleaning up my brows. Now on to hydrating my skin, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream under my eyes just to really hydrate my under eyes. And then I'm using the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisturising Balm with SPF 25 to just really hydrate my skin. And this has also got primer in it so it's really going to make sure that my makeup stays put, which you'll probably need on New Year's Eve anyways. And then for foundation I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation Caramel and I'm just going to brush this all over my skin. I really, really, really love this foundation but there will be a full review um, up tomorrow. Next, I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte again underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead and on my chin. I'm just going to use a wedge sponge just to blend that all out. I really do like to bring the concealer in the inner corners of my eyes now just to brighten that area up. And after that, I do like to take my foundation brush and use whatever was left on that brush to just blend out the edges and make sure that there's no harsh lines between the concealer and the foundation. And to start baking, I'm using the W7 Banana Powder, which I absolutely love at the moment. I'm just going to do a bit of baking with that, and I also did it around my mouth area as well. Oh, and I also did my lids and I actually like to do this because it just facilitates any eyeshadow blending and I'm just going to brush that all off like two seconds later. And then for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, which I have been obsessed with the past few days. And I'm first going to use the shade called Burnt Orange as my transition colour with a fluffy brush. I'm then going to use this shade right here, it's like a bright dark burgundy pink I would say and I am going to use this in my crease. I did bring this colour right into the inner corner as well because it is going to kind of be a cut crease look so I did bring it all the way in and also a lot on the outer corner of the eye as well. The next shade I'm going to be using is this dark brown called Cypress Umber and this is going to be like the cut crease line so you definitely want to deepen the crease with this colour and I put a lot on the crease and also on the outer corner of the eye as well. And I also like to grab my previous brushes that I used with the previous colours just to um, blend the colours out nicely. And then I grab the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again and I'm going to carve out a crease I would say. And you want to do this on both eyes. I did leave the outer corner empty because we are going to put, be putting some dark eyeshadow in that area. And then I'm grabbing the shade Vermeer just to lightly set that concealer in place. Um, you don't have to be neat with this because we are going to be putting glitter on top of this. So this is just to set that concealer in place. And then I am grabbing the dark brown shade again, the Cypress Umber. And this is where you want to really deepen the outer corner and create like a winged effect. Not as neat, but just like a blended out wing effect. And again, I'm using some of my previous brushes just to blend out the eyeshadows. Next I'm going to be using this glitter glue that I got off Amazon and this was super cheap but it works so so well. 
and then I'm going in with this Amazon glitter which is a nice dusty metal shade and I'm just going to apply this slowly on my lids because I have unfortunately done my foundation and concealer first but um, I did go in with some tape and um, removed the fallout of the glitter which I will be showing you later on in the video but that's all I did for the eyes actually I did put some mascara on my top and lower lashes and I did put some umber cypress umber i mean on my lower lash line just to smoke out the lower lash line and that's all i did for the lids next i'm going to be using some bronzer and this is the bobbi brown one in deep just to give a bit of color to my skin and here you can see i'm using the tape to remove any uh, fallout from the glitter and i would say it would be better to do your glitter makeup eye makeup before you do your face makeup but I just forgot and this happens to me every single time but that's just a little tip if you do forget and then here I'm just like bronzing the rest of my skin I did grab the NYX contour and highlight pro palette and grab some cool tone browns just to give a bit of contour to my cheeks and I'm using the Bobbi Brown angled face brush that I've just been loving just to contour my face a bit I'm going in with some MAC mineralized skin finish in global glow just to give an overall highlight highlighting glow to my skin and for a more intense highlight i'm using the sleek highlighting palette in cleopatra's kiss and i believe it was the shade called sphinx that i'm gonna pack onto my cheekbones i then use the smashbox primer water just to set all my makeup in place and then for my lips i'm going to be using a really dark chocolatey brown color that is the color pop uh, lippy stick in Hollywood Boulevard it's just a nice chocolatey brown color and I feel like I never wear any dark colors normally but this is just a really nice one and it really went with the look but anyways that's the end of this makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did like it and let me know what other videos you would like to see in the future I love you guys and I will see you next time bye